Jonathan Marvin Triggs. How awesome is our God and faithful is he that he would bring two people like you and me together in a world full of millions of people. I've been working on this letter for quite some time. I've wrote, rewrote, and tried so hard to put the right words here for you to express everything I feel in my heart. So here it goes. Normally, when I'm in my office and on the computer at 1 a.m., I'm working on sale write-ups, but not tonight. What I'm doing tonight is attempting to put into words how beyond blessed and truly the luckiest man on earth. Now, I'm hardly ever at a loss for words, especially once I dive into those sale write-ups, but I'm struggling to find all the words in my heart that says about you, Riley. I hope you understand just how much of a gift you are to me. Your presence in my life has shaped me in so many ways. First, by strengthening my relationship with God. Four years ago, I was in one of the most dark, lost times of my life. The loss of my grandpa, Ron, put me in an extremely rough place. I began to pray and pray hard for something good to come in my life. I didn't know what it was or when it would come. I simply put my faith in God's timing. I will never forget the feeling I had that night, sometime in August, at state fair time, that Kendall texted me about you, or how I even knew that it would be about you. I will never forget the first time we had a face-to-face -face conversation. I was pressured by Kenny, Tabor, and VM, and finally put up enough courage to get those first words out. Thank God for Iowa State University and VM's party bus that night. Fast forward to September 3rd, 2016. I didn't realize it until recently, but that's the first time we met. I find no coincidence in this as it's my grandpa Ron's birthday. At that moment, I knew that my prayer for something good had been answered. I found myself praying for you, for myself, and whatever we would become. We texted, talked, and FaceTimed for quite some time, and I remember getting razzed by all our friends that I still hadn't asked you out yet. And I'm pretty certain you were starting to worry too. It still amazes me that a man like you could love a girl like me, and love me with your whole heart. God put you in my life because he knew I would need a challenge. I needed someone who would challenge my patience, but show me the most patience at the same time. You challenge me every day to have faith in myself like you do. December 6th, 2016, the one day that single-handedly started the most rewarding chapter in my life. I can't begin to retell all the incredible memories we've had since that day, but I can honestly say that I wouldn't change a single one of them. He knew I needed someone that would always choose me and choose to love me. You make me feel so worthy and like the most beautiful girl in the room and world. He knew I needed someone strong to hold me up in the many times I find myself down. I've never felt more safe and at home than when I'm in your embrace. We're coming in on four years together. You know, people always say, once you find your person, you know. And I can tell you, without a doubt in my mind, I knew on day one. I needed someone who still makes me laugh and love with abandon. I didn't believe that I could find a man who would remind me every single day to dream bigger, work harder, and always put my faith in God. I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. You're ambitious, brave, smart, compassionate, hardworking, determined, kind, thoughtful, patient, and so, so many more things. But most of all, every day I wake up, you're pushing me to become a better person. Whether that's to be a better colleague, son, brother, nephew, friend, or businessman, you're always there for me to become better, even if you don't know it. I'm so excited to build a future together with you, Riley Marie, and can't wait for the exciting times ahead. Today, October 24th, 2020, as we start our new lives as a married couple, I promise to keep our relationship with Jesus first and lead our family in faith in his name above all others. I promise to pray with you, for you, and over you each day, regardless if we are happy, angry, or anything in between. No matter the argument, disagreement, or stubbornness, I promise to always kiss you goodnight and never go to bed angry. I promise to never give up or quit, to have faith in you along with our future, and to love you more with each passing day. 
I promise to always be there for you. No matter how tough times get, I will always have you. I promise to always challenge you and encourage you to be the best person you can be, whether it's you personally as a friend, husband, or even someday father. I promise to do my absolute best in pushing you to achieve and attain all the goals you set for yourself. If God so blesses us with children, I promise to be the absolute best dad I can. I promise to celebrate every triumph, stand with you in turmoil, and comfort you in the moments in between. Life will get hard and busy, but I promise to keep that spark and passion and evident between us. You are about to be my husband, but you will always first and foremost be my boyfriend. And most of all, I promise to love you with 100% of my heart each and every day I shall live. I promise to be faithful to you and only you forever and ever. I will fight for you and with you as a force to be reckoned with. Eternal God, our creator and redeemer, as you gladden the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your son, Jesus, so by Christ's presence now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Jonathan and Riley and grant that they rejoicing in all your gifts may at length celebrate with Christ the marriage feast which has no end. Amen. I give myself to you to be your husband. I promise to love and sustain you in the covenant of marriage. From this day forward, in sickness and in health, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, as long as we both shall live. I give myself to you to be your wife. I promise to love and sustain you in the covenant of marriage from this day forward, in sickness and in health, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, as long as we both shall live. It is my great honor and privilege to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Triggs. I vividly remember Jonathan coming up to me and whispering in my ear when he was looking at RD and in his typical Jonathan voice, he said, I cannot wait to marry the sh out of her. <laughs> brother has always been an adventure, mainly because we're normally about an hour late and looking for a back road to shave some time. But I'm glad John found such a great and wonderful person to take him through life with him and uh, hopefully wake him up on time. So here's the lifetime of happiness. Cheers. I am so grateful to stand up here and celebrate the both of you. You are two of the best people I have ever known, and you guys deserve this so much. I know you're going to live the best life together, and it is going to be the best walk with God. And I seriously love you guys both so, so, so much. So cheers. Let's drink to that. I've thought about this day ever since I fell in love with you, ever since I had the slightest thought that you and I would turn into something more, and I guess right, because here we are. I wish all the world would understand. I want to be, want to be, want to be, be who I am. But I often hide, have to pretend. But I believe, I believe I'll be stronger in the end, yeah. There's no book on how, there's no book on who, when it comes to love. Rod and Julie, thank you for inviting me in. Thank you uh, for not trying to scare me off with a gun. I do appreciate that. And then most of all, thank you for the opportunity for us to 
to flourish together in our relationship and continue to move forward and pave a great way in life. We're here tonight to celebrate these wonderful people and the, the couple that they make. And I can't believe that someone that has been so close to me through everything, it feels like I'm sending her off to like army camp. But that's, it's just because, you know, new Sharon, Iowa, you know. <laughs> Cheers to Jonathan and Riley. May their lives be filled with piglets, baby calves, and maybe one day, a baby trix. God bless America. I know that there will be tears of joy and happiness shed by Rod and Julie, but I hope they know that you've just begun your journey. Things kept crossing my mind about maybe life's greatest moments and, and things that had happened in life. It came down to two things for me, and it, and it really was the day Julie said I do, and the day Julie gave me the greatest gift you could give a man, and that was my little girl. To life's greatest moments, you know, ones in the past, ones in the present, the best ones yet to come. I wish the best for you too, and I hope you're always as happy as you are tonight because your mom and I love you very much. I won't hide, I won't hide who I am. Love, love always wins. I know that Grams will be looking down on us, wishing us the absolute best. She told me numerous times how much she adored you, Riley, and I can't tell you how much that meant to me. You are my biggest blessing, my greatest treasure, my best friend, and the love of my life. I will cherish you and love you unconditionally as long as we both shall live and evermore. Riley, I will never be able to put into words how much you mean to me. But I hope you know my actions over the next 60 plus years reveal those words. You're a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing, a beautiful thing you are. She is a sweetheart of Alpha Gamma Pro. First knowledge in her heart so true. A.G.R. Dream Girl, how I love you. I'm so blessed to start this journey with you as husband and wife. I am so incredibly excited to finally tie the knot and celebrate our big day with all of our family and friends. I cannot wait to grow old with you, see the man you become, and someday look back in the beautiful life we have built and the love we have shared.
won't always be easy, but I can promise it will be so worth it. I love you more than you know. I can't wait to see you in a few short minutes. I love you more than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. Love, your Riley Marie.